Now we can find the relationship between the period t and the orbital radius r for any orbit. Start with our equation v equals 2 pi r over t. v is equal to the square root of g m over r. That's the velocity to maintain a stable orbit. Square both sides. Then we can multiply both sides by t squared times r and we get g m t squared equals 4 pi squared r cubed. Then we can divide both sides by g, m, and r cubed and we get t squared over r cubed equals 4 pi squared over g, m. This is what's called Kepler's third law, but Kepler only figured out the first part of this equation. He used observations made by a man named Tycho Brahe and he noted that the ratio t squared over r cubed yielded the same results for all of the planets in our solar system. Newton showed why. It's because that's equal to a constant. 4 pi squared over g m, where m is the mass of our sun, is a constant for all of the objects in our solar system. So if you know the period of a planet's orbit, you can determine the distance from the sun. And since all planets orbiting the sun have the same period to distance ratio, this equation holds true. We can also take two objects and set that ratio equal to each other. So for this white object and green object orbiting that star, t of the white squared over r of the white cubed equals t of the green squared over r of the green cubed. Now we can do this for anything. We can do it for objects orbiting our sun, objects orbiting the earth, whatever we want. So let me show you an example of how to use this ratio. So let's say there's a planet that is twice the distance from the sun to the earth. So we can call this RE and call this distance 2 RE. So the period of the earth is one year. How long would it take this planet to go around the sun? So we'll set up our equation T of the earth squared RE cubed equals Tx squared rx cubed. Now remember, this re is not the radius of the earth, it's the orbital radius of the earth. So I'm going to replace rx with 2 re. So the re cubed cancels out. 2 cubed is equal to 8. So now I have te squared equals tx squared over 8. So tx squared equals 8 times t on the earth squared. So that's going to be 8 times 1 year squared. So 1 squared is just 1, but we get 8 years squared. So we want tx, right? Not tx squared. So we need to take the square root of 8 here squared. And the square root of 8 is 2.8. So it would take this 2.8 years to go around the sun once.